A day that should have been relaxing turned into tragedy. Police say two teenagers were digging a hole at a New Jersey beach and it collapsed. One of the teens died and with so many beaches in our area, more of you will be spending time out there and we want everyone to be safe. Reporter Penny Commit has more on how you can stay safe. Well, there's nothing more fun during the summer than playing in the sand, but when can that fun become dangerous? The Virginia Beach Fire Department says that when you're building a sandcastle, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the moat around it isn't too deep. As we approach beach season, we wanna remind you that you shouldn't dig holes in the sand. While it may seem innocent and fun, if a hole is too deep, it can collapse. And if you get trapped in the sand, it becomes nearly impossible to breathe. To put just how heavy sand can be into perspective, if you put sand in just a small 12 by 12 box, it will weigh about 100 pounds. And not surprisingly, 100 pounds collapsing on you could kill you. So how deep is too deep? Virginia Beach Fire and Rescue explains. When you dig those deep holes, uh, it's kind of recommended that you only dig it as deep as the height of somebody's knee. Like so the smallest person in your party is just the height of their knee. So if they go in and the sand overtakes them, then they're not going to have any difficulty getting out. And not only can sand holes be dangerous to you, but our wildlife as well. Sea turtle nesting season begins this month, and the town of Nags Head in North Carolina says that the holes in the sand make it difficult for female sea turtles to lay their eggs and can disrupt their hatching. Now, if an accident happens and you do get stuck in the sand, do not panic. Virginia Beach Fire says they do have the equipment to get you out, but they're gonna have to move very quickly. From Virginia Beach, Penny Commit, News 3.